Hello everyone, welcome to Yoga Core Practice. If you don't know me, my name is Janetta, and I invite you to do this practice in which we will strengthen the abdominal muscles, do some twisting position and build the strength of our body. You don't need any yoga props, all you need is a piece of space and if you have your yoga mat. Let's begin. When you're ready, we'll get started at the top of the mat. With an inhale, reach the arms up for Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, the left foot step back, lower the knee. Inhale, arms up. Anjanayasana. Slowly exhale and let go any tension. Inhale. Exhale, drop your both arms down and interlace your fingers behind your back. Extend the elbows. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, release and put your hands to the mat. Tuck your toe, lift your knee and back foot steps forwards. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, roll all the way up, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, step your right foot back and drop the knee. Inhale, arms up, open your chest. Keep breathing deeply. Inhale, exhale, bring your hands behind your back to extend the elbows, interlace your fingers, lift and open the chest all the way up, inhale, arms up, exhale, release the hands to the mat, tuck your toe, lift the knee and step forward, inhale, halfway, exhale, Uttanasana. Roll yourself up to the standing, arms up, inhale, exhale, hands to heart, inhale, arms up, exhale, Utkatasana, inhale, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale halfway, exhale step back to plank. Keep breathing slowly and deeply, draw the navel in, engaging your core. Drop your knees, shift your weight forward, bending your elbows, lower yourself down to the mat. Inhale, Cobra. Move your shoulders away from your ears. Upward facing dog and go to downward facing dog. If you want, you can add some movement. You could pad out the legs. Feel free to do whatever you feel is good for you. Step your left leg forward, inhale, reach your arms up, Virabhadrasana 1, find your warrior 1, exhale, inhale, with exhale bring your hands down onto your mat, step back to plank, 
Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale Cobra Bhujangasana and exhale Adho Mukhashwanasana. Step your right leg forward, inhale arms up and find that Virabhadrasana one. release. With exhale, reach the hands down towards the mat. Step back to plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, Exhale, now slowly step forward to sitting position. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach both arms up. As exhale, find your twist in the left side. Drop your arms and shoulders down. Inhale, come back to the center, arms up. As exhale, find the twist in the other side. Turn your gaze to the right. Drop down your arms and relax your shoulders. Deep breathing. And out. Inhale, arms up. And with exhale, reach both arms forward and allow yourself to come all the way into your forward fold. Slowly roll up. Now in this position, start to extend your one leg out and bring it back. Another leg out and bring it back. Out and back. Hold it here for a moment and release. And come and lie down on your back. Put your hands wide on the sides of your body and start to rock your knees side to side. Let your head swing in the opposite direction. Now lift your both legs up, keep that 90 degrees angle in the knees like tabletop position and press that lower back down into the floor. Your arms and shoulders are grounded, put them wide apart. At the beginning start gently moving your knees from side to side. When you are ready you can go all the way side to side. If you want some challenge, you can extend your knees. Keep your shoulders down to the mat. Now 
Now place your hands closer to your body and start slowly drop your one leg down. Press your lower back to the mat. Come back and another leg slowly go down and back. Engage your core. Focus on drawing the lower belly in and press your spine to the mat. Now bend your legs and hug them, maybe gently rock side to side. And release, put your feet to the mat. Inhale, reach your arms over your head. Pull that navel into your spine, grounding that lower back into the mat. Lift your both legs up, lift your chest up and both hands reaches up to the feet. Release. Inhale. With exhale, lift your left leg and reach both arms up, lifting your chest. Release, inhale. Change leg, exhale up. Inhale, down, exhale, chest and arms up, inhale, down, exhale, reach up to the right leg, inhale, down and keep going. Inhale down, with the exhale lift both legs and hold here. Inhale, exhale and release. Now a little bit rock side to side, relax your body, find your breath. And maybe if you want, swing to Utkatasana. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, find that twist, placing your right elbow onto your left knee. Exhale. And inhale, go all the way up, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, Utkatasana. Inhale, and with the exhale, twist other side. Place your left elbow onto your right knee. Release. Inhale, reach both arms up all the way to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms up. With exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step back to plank and go to tabletop position. Turn the fingers to face the edges of the mat. If you can, flip the fingertips so they point all the way back towards your knees. If this is too intense, you don't need to go all the way. If you want, you can add some movements, shifting your weight forward and back.
For challenge, you can lift your knees to go to plank. Release and slowly bring your hands back to normal. Now place your hand with the inside facing up and fingers pointing to your knees, one side at a time. Okay, tuck your toes and go to sitting position. Reach both arms up, create a fist with both of your hands and roll out to your wrist go a few times. And other side. And start circling your arms, release any tension. Open up your chest, maybe shaking a little bit. And interlace your fingers and start roll out the wrist. Let's come back to tabletop and add Homukha Shwanasana. Bring your feet together. Lift the left leg high, with exhale, shifting your weight forward, bring your knee to the elbow and shoulder, go back, lift leg up, inhale, exhale, knee to elbow and shoulder, go back, inhale, and forward, exhale, lift up, inhale, Exhale forward. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. And exhale, release down to downward facing dog. Other side. Lift your right leg up with inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow and shoulder. Inhale, up. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, up. Exhale, knee to elbow, shoulder. Inhale, up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale up, exhale, inhale, exhale, strong core, inhale up, as high as you can and exhale, release. And a little bit rest in child's pose. Relax your head and your wrist. Let the gravity pull your shoulders down and keep breathing deeply. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly come to plank position. Keep your core engaged, pelvis is tucked under. With exhale, raise your left knee up to shoulder. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, knee to shoulder and back. Exhale, inhale. Keep breathing. Now drop your knees and come down to resting child's pose for a moment. With every exhalation release any tension of your body. Inhale and exhale, roll up. 
Adho Mukha Svanasana. Feet together. Reach your left leg up. Inhale. Exhale. Step the foot in between the hands and reach the arms up for high lunge. Inhale. Exhale, extend your both legs and place your heel on the mat. Very slowly begin to lower your chest with both arms reaching forward. Try to tilt your pelvis forward and drop your hands down. Now reach your left arm up to find that twist in Parita Trikonasana. Lift your chest and shoulder up. Find your breath. Release. Step your right foot forward and maybe start to bending your knees, releasing tension in your legs or spine. You can grab your elbows and drop your head down. Maybe swing a little bit here. Step back to Adho Mukha Svanasana. Find that breath, bring feet together. Inhale, lift your right leg up. With exhale, step your right foot forward and go to your high lunge. Reach both arms up, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, extend both legs, placing your heel on the mat. Very slowly begin to lower your chest with both arms reaching forward. Hold it here. Your arms are reaching up and forward. Release, drop arms down. Parita Trikonasana, other side, reach your right arm up, find that twist, keep breathing. Inhale and exhale, release. Step forward, drop your head down and maybe if you want some swinging side to side to let go any tension, relax your neck and shoulders. By bending both of your knees, go down to the mat to sitting, Navasana. If you want to hold your legs, you can. Or go further and release your arms forward. If it's possible for you, you can start straightening your both legs, find your balance and breath, or you can grab that big toes. If you're holding your toes, let go and start twisting over your left side and change side. Go to your left and right. Keep breathing. Left. Right. And release and come lie on your back and swing your knees side to side.
Now lift your chest and both arms up. Feet coming up with 90 degree angle and start extend your right leg and bring him back. Extend your left leg, bring him back. Press your lower back into your mat. Keep breathing, changing your legs with each breath. Okay, now grab your both legs and take a gentle rock side to side, massaging the back. Now if you want, again you can swing to Utkatasana, chair pose, go up, arms up, inhale, exhale, hands to heart. Arms up, inhale, Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step back to plank on your elbows. Roll onto the other edge of the back foot and come to side plank. Reach your left arm up. Release and change side. Release and go to the center. With your exhale, bring your left knee up and forward to your chest and come back with inhale leg up exhale inhale step back exhale inhale right leg exhale inhale back exhale inhale keep breathing Drop your knees and come and lie down on your belly. Grab your left foot and draw it towards your pelvis. With each exhalation, try to let go any tension. Relax your shoulders. Release and other side grab that right foot and draw it towards your pelvis. Find your breath. Release and place your hands near your lower ribs and with inhale lift your chest up as high as you need. Exhale, tuck your toes and come to Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Step forward to sitting position. Find your comfortable position so you can focus on your breath. Slowly place your right hand by the right side. Reach the left arm up and over as you bend to the right. Come back to the center and place your left hand by the left side. Reach the right arm up and over as you bend to the left. Release. Relax and drop your shoulders down. And deepening the breath even more now as you take a rest. Slowly allow yourself to close your eyes, taking a moment 
for gratitude. Thank you so much for your time and your energy. I hope that you enjoyed this class. Let me know in the comments. Namaste.